I got over a thousand reps in this game, and I'm beginning to the comp scene. And there are some mistakes I see players make with certain heroes that make me want to beat you over your goddamn head, take you to the principal's office, old school paddle, beat you upside the head, that I still see people make. Now, I'm going to point out these mistakes so that you can recognize when you get into these yourself, and some of these mistakes you might make, and you never realize it all along. But before we get into it, let's get a word from our sponsor. W Energy has been a sponsor of the channel recently. Y'all might have seen it on Twitch. However, I don't sponsor them much here on YouTube because I forget. If you're a fan of energy drinks and you don't like going out buying the cans, W is a good alternative with natural caffeine and they have some really good flavors. My personal favorite is the Calio Cream and the Dragonade. Those two taste absolutely wonderful and I recommend picking them up. There are also many other things such as shirts, mouse pads, book bags, etc. And if you don't feel like buying a tub, you can always get the starter pack that's around $14. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, when you go to that checkout, type in code SEALBABY10 in all capital letters so that you get a little discount. Not much, but if you want to support the channel and get yourself some nice energy drinks along the way, enter in the code and let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you have any personal favorites of these. But back to our regularly scheduled broadcast of Ian getting mad at mistake. The wardens I fight fall into one of three categories. They either A, try to crush and counter everything and they get parried every single time. They either B, spam their level one bash and nothing else and always wait on the third one for some reason to let a level three fly. Or three, they just try to commit to a level three and guard break you. Warden has a level two bash and I don't see a lot of people talking about it. I see barely any Wardens using it when I fight them. The only time I see level 2 Bash get any love with Warden is when fighting Scripters. It can beat Scripters because the script cannot determine the difference between the level 1, 2, and 3. Use your level 2. It'll make your 1v1s go a hell of a lot better with them. And you're like, Ian, but I want to team fight as Warden. Why are you team fighting as Warden? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I'm going to beat you upside your noggin. Don't team fight as Warden. Just stick to his role as 1v1s. If you need a team fight, okay, he has the unblockable hitbox. But he's not meant to be a team fighter. He's meant to be in 1v1. Use your level 2 bash more. You'll find you'll get a lot more success that way. The biggest mistake I see a lot of PKs making, they only want to spam the dagger cancel. And they use their zone as their opener. Why do you want to spam that dagger cancel? I get it. It's your only form to get unblockables, but why? Anytime I see a PK, that's what I'm that is what I'm looking for. I am looking for that dagger cancel. If you let your heavies fly a lot more, you'd be surprised how much that works. PK can be very oppressive in ones, and she can be decent in team fighting. And she can do very well in 2v2s. But in your 1v1 scenario, let let your heavies fly. Just let them fly. You will be surprised how many times that heavy hits and you can get into your offense. Trust me on that one. Outside of the mistake of Ian making his scent look like the green gobbler and being fugly as shit, scent's a ganker. You have to play with a team as ganking. Solo queuing as scent is a completely different story because you don't know what your randoms are going to do. And some randoms might want to bash on your punch. I wish I was making that up. Regardless. You should be playing with your team ascent. You should be ganking, especially if it, there is a coordinated team. Like in any high-level Dominion, if you're 1v1ing somebody, something's wrong, especially ascent. Get a teammate, gank with them, and that's where he excels. And stop using Legion Kick and throwing lights as scent. Legion Kick is literally a bright orange fake Yeezy coming to hit your upside your noggin that everybody can see. And why do you throw lights as scent? Why? <laughs> like it's the, some of the most easiest stuff to throw heavies that catches a lot of people and those heavies can be variable timed they got the little pin like use the heavies more <laughs> and your variable time punches stop throwing lights as scent black prior oh my god the amount of times i am able to guard break a bp in a team fight because he gets so greedy for them flips you're not flex, Avil. You can't go card declined. All right, listen. I know the flip is cool, but there is a smart time to flip and a bad time to flip. A lot of BPs I see are very greedy with that flip. Like his fast flow into bulwark. 
the amount of times I have caught a BP in that flip and guard broken him. It is absurd the amount of times a BP will block my light. I do nothing. I wait. He goes into full guard. I guard break. Don't get greedy for the flip. Don't get greedy. It's a powerful tool. As a BP, you are supposed to be one of the ones lasting a lot. Lasting the longest. If you die first in a team fight as BP, you messed up. Something's wrong. And now your team over there is 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 in the corner by Big Papa Julio getting his booty cheek spread like a PB and J from a Magi and a Shaolin. Stop being greedy with the flip. There is a smart way to flip, and there's a dumb way. Be smart. Take your time. Listen, I'm six takes into this fucking Griffin one because Ian can't figure out how to word. I he just got off work. But you know that grandma you see in those old mobile game ads? She could react to a Griffin bash from neutral. Granny gonna whoop ass when she going up against a Griffin now. She gonna show you how she did back in her day. She gonna show you what it was like in them swinger days. Alright, she gonna get shit done against a Griffin. Anybody else, I'm sorry. Granny's gonna need to collect her pension. But the good griffins that I see, the ones that truly understand the character in and out, they know how strong his dash light is, his forward dash light. It is used to get into your offense. There's a reason why they made it enhanced now. It was one of his best buffs, that I argue. Because guess what? If they fo if they preemptively dodge a bash, guess what? Dash light, bonk. You want to get into a team fight and be able to trade your heavies? Dash light, bonk. Chain heavy, bonk them. Bonk them upside day noggin, all right? It's a very powerful tool. Use it, but like with any tools, don't get predictable with it. And when you start conditioning them with it, then you can go for your neutral bash. Just bonk. All right, bonk. And then you can miss a dinghy. Bonk. Outside of the first mistake playing Conk and Dom, we can get past that as Conk is, he's not a good forest character, let's be honest. He has a lot of things on paper that might make him good or seem like he's good, but he has no chase and his peels are very lackluster. The biggest mistake though I see a lot of Kongs doing in a team fight outside of trying to side dodge shield bash everything is knowing which full guard option to use. A lot of Kongs for some reason when they get in a team fight all they want to do is the th one where you go in a 360, the R1. The light variant, the R1 where he spins around and hits everybody. Okay, that's good. But what about your teammate that you just hit that caused him to eat a heavy? And now he's dead. He is dead. And now you got to explain that to his wife and kids. He is dead because you wanted to be a helicopter. The R1 is meant to get people off of you if you're being ganked. Use the uppercut. Play smart with conk. I know you want to go raw and do funny memes, but use the all guard correctly. A lot of new lawbringers I see now, they and old lawbringers too, or just anybody who plays lawbringer in general, you can fall into the funny ad mortem meme, where you just want to attack, 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 and there's a fine balance in that. Yes, you have hyper armor, and you can be aggressive during team fights now with him. However, you have a lot of health, and you have to know when to be aggressive and when to be passive. It's like with Medjai. You have this power, but you gotta know when to use it effectively. Because if there's a BP on the enemy team, honey, I'm sorry. If you're just throwing shit willy-nilly and going ad mortem listening to fucking Sabaton, you're going to get flipped. You're going to get melted. And when you get flipped, everybody's going to look at you with some, hmm, look at that juicy lawbringer that just got flipped. Let's boop him upside his noggin. And then you're dead. Find that balance of being aggressive and passive. That is what you got to do. So Glad is a ganker, and he has really oppressive 1v1s. One mistake I notice a lot of Glad's doing is for some reason they want to side dodge sucker punch everything. Why? Why do you want to do that? You just get guard broken. And for some reason when they have Haymaker, they just want to do the parry or post and go into the skewer. Why? Like, wh like why? Why? Just toe stab and zone. That's all you got to do with Gladiator. Those are his two most oppressive tools. And you only really throw the chain lights if you know the person can't react to them. They're called the pest for a reason. They're annoying. If they can't react, it'll light spam the shit out of them. But use your toe stab and your zone. As his ganks require a lot more thought to get the skewer gank going. But for the most part, don't fall into the habit of side dodge sucker punching everything. It's not as safe as it used to be anymore. 
just be very mindful when you throw that out. And I still see a lot of gladiators do that. And I see a lot of gladiators still that don't realize they can faint their zone if they whiff it. And the final mistake that I see for the knights is in Warmonger. A lot of Warmongers, they do things right using their frame advantage, their zone into hyper armor chain heavy, the variable time bash. They do all that right. However, the biggest mistake I see a lot of Warmongers do is they waste their corruption. Why are you going to pop it and use it when you're all the way in Tahiti and the team fight is going on and in Montana? Like, why? <laughs> why would you pop? Why would you pop it so far away from your team? And then it ends up being wasted. And then whenever they do apply the corruption, they don't even use it effectively. So just use it effectively. Isolate somebody, gank them and apply your corruption smartly. There are some heroes you'd want to get a corruption on. If you get corruption on Magi, guess what? He can't dance around in a team fight. So use your corruption right. Make them practice social distancing correctly. But if y'all like this and y'all want me to go on to the Vikings, let me, know, let me know down in the comments below. With all that being said, don't forget to follow and subscribe to become a SEAL baby. And I'll see y'all in the next one.